It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by the Beat Seat. Cancel Tribal Chief White Calf, face of the Redskins, generates new support nationwide. Okay, I want to see what this is about because everything's so mental. Let's change football team names. Come on, man. The, the Redskins was an awesome team name. That was an awesome team. What the freaking heck, that's paying homage, you know? I, like, I feel like I'd be offended you got rid of it. I'd be like, that. we had a little hold on something here. Now we had land, they took the land from us. Then we had at least our image on a football team. They took that away from us too. We are really the minority here now, people. We don't even have a football image anymore. Like, well, at least you got baseball. I'm sorry? Oh, no, we got rid of the Cleveland as well. No. Baseball? Forget about it. We had baseball too. National pastime. You think, considering that we are the national pastime, you know, here first, we should be a part of the national pastime still. Cleveland Indians. You know, if I were tribal chief right now, I'd have something to say about this. That's just me. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Chief Wampingfoot. Um, I just wanted to know like, what your deal is. You got rid of our images on the football helmet, on the baseball shirt, on the hat. <sighs> chief Wampingfoot. Listen, I, I got a little news for you. They call me Chief Wampingfoot for a reason. If you don't put the Cleveland Indian back on and the Washington Redskin paying homage to the originals here, you know? You've taken it all away from us. You took my land, Chief Wampingfoot. And now you're taking my connection to the national pastime and to the National Football League? We at least had that. Still. We still have land, though, no, right? What? No, no land. But we still had part of football, part of baseball. And now they've taken it all away. They just want to, like, extinguish our existence, erase us from memory. Oh, Chief Wampingfoot. You know, like, these are moments. I'm going to do a rain dance. I'm thinking about doing a rain dance to see if we could bring back the, the names. You know? I'm... Could be way off on this one, guys, but that's just how I see it. Let's see what the story is. Let's see if Chief Wampenfoot really has a, a problem with this. A uh, Chief Blackfeet. Wampenfoot's cooler. Wampenfoot, I'm scared of. Blackfeet, you know, like you're thinking that th he's got to chop off those toes at some point. You know, maybe you should have tr treated that cut on your ankle, on both ankles, you know gangrene eaters, you know? It's like you're walking around. They, they sometimes call him Chief Gangrene just because he's disgusting. It smells. Oof. You ever been around gangrene? No good. No good. Chief Gangrene, that guy. <laughs> he won a lot of battles, just the stench. Celebrated Blackfeet Chief. Oh, Blackfeet was the name of the, the tribe. John Two Guns, that's a much better name. John Two Guns White Calf, that is a good name, buddy. You got a good one there. I still like Wampin' Foot. For me, Two Guns. Uh, how about Two Guns Wampin' Foot? Chief Two Guns Wampin' Foot. He's gonna two guns you and then womp the foot right up your hiney butt. And you're just there taking it, you know? Ah, uh, Two Guns White Calf was sacrificed on the altar of cancel culture. See? Now, an effort to save the indigenous hero's legacy, as well as larger native history from woke agenda is beginning to spread nationwide. Guys, it's what I was just joking about. White Calf. Racist. White. Why couldn't he just be Calf Calf? You know? Peach Calf. You gotta go White Calf. Huh. He should have been Peach Calf. Chief... Peach Calf was the face of the National Football League's Washington Redskins for 48 years until they took away his land, then they took away his image. 
Oh, now we're the Commanders. The Commanders is a stupid name. I don't even want to watch a Washington football game anymore because their name is the Commanders. I got a good one. Let's go with the Commanders. All right, Commodore. Why don't we do that? Let's go list at sea. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's just how I feel about getting rid of the Redskins, getting rid of the Cleveland Indians. They took away their land and they take away their images. Everybody was fine with the Redskins. Everybody's fine with the Cleveland Indians. For 48 years, they were fine with the Redskins. It wasn't until these people with no skin came along. Oh, it's windy out. My, I got all these cuts on my skin because it breathes. You know, guys, when we were kids, they said, thick skin, grow some skin. Yeah, not everything in the world needs to offend you, and it shouldn't offend you, and you shouldn't even put any time to think about it. You should just be thinking about things that make you happy. This doesn't make anybody happy. Let's focus in on how there's a Native American on the side of a football helmet and how offensive and racist that is. What? It's a fu In fact, can I step back and say that the Indians were always considered warriors? If I have a baseball team or if I have a football team or any other team and I want to name them after an Indian, after a chief or after somebody who was a warrior, how is that racist? It's offensive that someone could consider that racist. No, that's a warrior. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, you're supposed to be on the field shaking hands. You're supposed to be out there smacking them on the butt saying, good job, pal. No. This is where you're going out there, you need barbarians on the field. You're looking for warriors. I want a team of warriors, not a team of people picking flowers. Oh, the commanders. It's terrible. This is terrible stuff that's going on here. I could get crazy, huh? Man, I'll tell you, I get amplified. I get amped up, because I'm thinking about Chief Blackfoot, White Toes, you know? And he's just trying to do it without anybody saying that they gotta get rid of his legacy. This is a legacy thing now, look at this man. The guy on the left, excuse me, warrior, warrior chief. Oh, you're a football team though, you can't have a warrior chief as your mascot, cause that's racist to have a warrior on a football helmet. Where the hell was anybody who was like on the other side of this argument when this happened? Uh, excuse me, Dan Schneider, you friggin' moron. <laughs> Let me just share a little something with you. Do you want a team that's like, yay, guys, we're playing foosball. It's not foosball. We're not playing flag football here, except for in the Pro Bowl. You're talking about full contact. Take the other guy's head off. I want a warrior on my helmet. Who do you want to put on it? Oh, let's, uh, let's put on Marie Curie. Let's put Marie Curie on the side of our helmet, guys. That's a good one, because she's a woman. And she, she, uh, you know? Is she still alive? I'm sorry? Oh yeah, no, she died of radiation poisoning. But, you know, she'd be someone out of, because she did it, you know? You should put her on the helmet. You could be called the Curious Washington Curiosities. It's terrible, it's a terrible name. White Calf was erased from the NFL too. The Redskins under mounting pressure fueled in a large part by the NCAI dumped its white calf portrait logo in 2020 and adopted the name Commanders in 2021. The Redskins were the only minority representation in the entire NFL and it was a real person, not a mascot, historian Andre Bilodeau of San Diego, California said. The author of How the Redskins Got Their Name. The NCAI counts among its benefactors the George Soros-funded Open Society Foundations. Interesting. American taxpayers also fund the group. Why is my tax money going to this piece of garbage group that's destroying our history? God almighty, this is insane. It receives support from several or seven federal bureaucracies, including the Department of Defense, according to its own website. Beyond the removal of native logos and representations in pro sports, the NCAI has tracked the retirement of more than 200 unsanctioned and native-themed mascots since 2019. Oh my goodness. Listen to that, guys. Beyond the removal of native logos and representations in pro sports, the NCAI has tracked the retirement and so basically it retired 200 unsanctioned native-themed mascots in 2019. Do you guys remember the Little Indians? Football team when you were a kid? That's probably gone. Scumbags. Ah, we're offended. We're offended by your whitewashing of history. Literally. 
Soros funded. Okay. Joanne, we're talking about your father again. You know, Joanne is wheezy, to say the least. Oh, goodness. So I feel bad for the native Indian population because I think that was a win for them to be a part of football, to be a part of baseball. And then to be erased from it is such a slap in the face. That's the way I see it. If I was Native American, I would feel like that's a slap in the face. I'm not offended by people dressing up like Indians. I'm not offended by people dressing up like anything. This is is all silly stuff. When we were kids, it was okay to play cowboys and Indians. That was okay. Is that not okay anymore to play cowboys and Indians? Does anybody know the answer to that? I mean, that was like a game you played, Cowboys and Indians. And it wasn't because you were, wanted to be the cowboy or, or you wanted to, to kill Indians. Sometimes you wanted to be the Indian. Like, we were kids. We didn't think about race. We didn't think about the historical ramifications of Cowboys versus Indians. We were just kids that were, we heard something like, oh, cool, okay, there's two different people that fight each other. They're called Cowboys and Indians. It's just history. It's history. Where it started, the basis of it, yeah, there's something more to talk about. But when it comes to children and, and forcing all these ideologies on children, we didn't think in those terms. We thought, oh, I want to play with a cap gun and I'll be the cowboy today. Tomorrow I'll be the Indian. And you switch after you lose. Okay, now I'm the Indian, now I'm the cowboy. It wasn't a one's better than the other when you're a kid. It's just that's the teams. It's a team. Now it's like you're, you became part of American history. You were American history, they wiped you away, and then you're part of a team, a, 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 the National Pastime and the National Football League. And now they've erased you from that, and so you have no representation anywhere. This is, this is what we're aiming for? That's whitewashing. Commanders. That's not whitewashing? Let's call them commanders. I wonder, is there a list of commanders? Top commanders. Oh, okay. Let's take a look here. Look at all these commanders, guys. It's the commanders. Uh, let's see. Okay, all these commanders here. Top generals. Okay, so <laughs> we get rid of all the statues of commanders and generals to call a football team the commanders. These are all commanders here right, right now, guys. Look at this. Look at those commanders right there, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what. That's better than some Indians right there. Look at that. These guys, we should pay homage to them instead of an American Indian. It's offensive to have an American Indian. Let's just put a bunch of white dudes on the helmet. This is interesting. It's just so weird to me how this is like, okay, people are just, yeah, I'll just go with the commanders. Wait, you had a, a really, really nice thing going there. Really nice thing. The Cleveland Indians, part of Major League, Charlie Sheen, you know? What the freaking heck are the Cleveland Indians? Cleveland what? Cleveland Indians are what? Cleveland... Guardians? The Cleveland Guardians? Are you freaking kidding me? What in the actual F? Went from a warrior to a guardian. Baseball players, they're guardians, guys. They're guardians. They're going to be the guardian of the mound. What are you guardianing? (laughs) The guardians. Freaking stupid name. How dumb. How dumb are you to be the Cleveland Guardians. It doesn't even roll off the tongue. Oh, what team are you on? The Cleveland Guardians. Oh, you're the Cleveland Guardians? Yeah, I got drafted by them. I told them to go pound freaking sand. I'm not playing for no Guardians. You won't go back to Indians? I'm on it. Charlie Sheen's coming out. Relief. We needed a relief pitcher. He's getting cracked out of his mind. He get, shows up on the mound. He's throwing white, wild thing all over again. He's got the glasses on. You guys remember. Cleveland Guardians. Unreal.
what the F? <laughs> it's like, oh guys, look, it's the Cleveland Guardians. I'm like, I'm sending out my daughter's team to play the Guardians. You guys are the Guardians? <laughs> oh, nah, 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 nah. I got a couple of dudes who got both left arms. They oh, just left arms. You got two of them, no arm on the right side. That's who we're playing against the Guardians. They're gonna win. They just bunt because of the double arm thing, you know? But it's kind of tricky when you see two arms coming at you and which one is holding the ball. That's a whole other thing. But the Guardians were sending in the freshman team from Albuquerque State Community College. They get a pretty decent freshman ball club. But we're gonna send them in to play the Guardians. You guys wanna stick with the name, I mean, that's on you. That is on you. <sighs> the Guardians. What a terrible name, right? I'm just saying, like sometimes when you're thinking about names that could be good and then you're like, yeah, let's go with the Guardians. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I think if you're coming up with a, a security company, you got a security company? You wanna go with the Guardians? I'm down, I'm down. I'd work for the Guardians. It's a company, we take care of buildings, we take care of homes, residential, commercial, we're the Guardians. I'm in, I mean, that I'm in with. The Guardians. Guys, I'm not ever going to a Guardians game. If the Guardians come and play the New York Yankees, it's a blowout. The Yankees playing the Guardians? <laughs> Spankied by the Yankees, and you couldn't guardian your pitcher's mound. Aaron Judge. It was Judgment Day against the Guardians. That's the way every single one of my openers would be. Worst name in history. Don't forget about Washington. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, you're right. The Commanders. Both crap names. Guys, canceled. Sometimes when you're there and your chief Blackfoot chief, two guns, the white calf on, and they just decide to remove your image from baseball and football and say, we're gonna go with a bunch of white dudes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and turn on all notifications. I'm live at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's affect a positive change one person at a time.